David was a 16-year-old boy who had been brought into foster care uh, at the age of seven. For nine years, he languished in foster care with the system as his only parent. I met him uh, on a day when we were getting ready to do a short film about his life, about his foster care journey, and about the fact that he wanted to be adopted. He was charismatic and just excited and real, and yet, uh, by his own words, he realized that uh, the possibility of him being adopted after all that time was uh, microscopic, tiny, uh, barely there. Uh, but yet, something else was in his eyes, and it was hope. He wanted to tell his story. He wanted to let people know that after nine years, he hadn't given up, and he wanted a family. As a result of the short film, a heart gallery photo, and a story on a local television station, David got a voice. And you know what? He got something else. After nine years, he got a family. Child-specific recruiting can be a critical part of finding families for waiting kids. The really neat thing about it is it catapults a single child or sibling group to the forefront where they can be seen and heard and hopefully and prayerfully chosen as a son or daughter. I think there are several things, uh, keys, that we have to do in order uh, to make sure that we're doing child-specific recruiting right. The first thing is we as individuals have got to deeply and passionately understand the value of every single waiting child. No matter where they came from, no matter what they're doing or their behaviors like, we need to value them. We need to see what they give to the world and what they can give to a family. We also have to have a relationship with the Department of, of Human Services, with DCFS. We can't feature kids if we don't have access to them and a partnership and a relationship with them. And then the third thing, which is kind of what I'm known for, is we've got to think outside the box. The status quo isn't good enough anymore. We have got to think outside the box. And there are a lot of ways to do that. One of my favorite ways is through heart galleries. Heart galleries are beautiful, professional photographs of waiting children. And what the heart gallery does to me is it puts a face to the statistics. It shows in no uncertain terms the beauty and the value of waiting kids. Another thing is short films, letting kids tell their stories, letting them share with respect and dignity who they are and what they desire in life. And another thing is the media in your area. To find a, a television station who's willing, with the department's approval of course, to feature a single child or sibling group and to let them be seen and heard. Child-specific recruiting uh, is essential. And the beauty of it is it gives us, as the body of Christ and a watching world, the opportunity to see the hand of a sovereign God who deliberately and with great purpose and intent does, does set the lonely in families.